Hi guys, it's Nicole. I usually do videos about food and nutrition, but um, I wanted to talk to you today about something that does pertain to health, and that's the zero waste lifestyle. I don't really like to call it zero waste because it, it's impossible to have zero waste, but I like to call it maybe like a low waste lifestyle. I came across this um, on YouTube, and I was actually really fascinated and intrigued when I came across this concept. I've always been really passionate about the environment and recycling, um, but when I started to realize all the stuff that I bring into my house, you know, I really do try to recycle, but I was actually pretty shocked at the amount of plastic that I do bring into my house because just because you th you're throwing something into a recycle bin doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get recycled. Um, so it's important that we lower the amount of plastic that we actually bring into our house at all or or buy in general like if we go to the store and you know maybe buy a smoothie at a health food store and they give it to you in plastic you know you can bring your own glass container and they can fill that up instead so I was really kind of you know embarrassed at myself and ashamed that I, boy I do bring in a lot of plastic into my house um, even though I would like try to recycle it you know I don't once I throw it in the recycle bin, I don't really know, is this going to get recycled? So I, I wanted to start taking steps to transition into this more, you know, low waste lifestyle. Um, instead of, you know, buying, because I do buy, I do eat a whole foods diet. So it's not like I'm eating like tons of processed food, but food does come in plastic, even if it's whole food, like let's say nuts or seeds or something like that, uh, instead of buying it in plastic that's already prepackaged, we can go to our, you know, st local store and get it in bulk and use these, um, you know, maybe muslin or cotton bags that you can get on Amazon or, you know, a lot of other websites sell these bags, these reusable bags that you can fill with, you know, your bulk items instead of using plastic. I try to recycle, but when I see, see people throwing plastic away in a garbage it just gets me so frustrated because you know you can recycle that so let's go into the bathroom first and I'll show you what I've done so far so instead of using bath gel that comes in a plastic container I've switched to bar soap you can get these without any packaging at all which is really nice and they last a long time and for my face I either use a bar soap or I do the oil cleansing method which makes my skin super soft. You just put together some high quality oils for the skin and then you just massage it into your face. Then I take a warm wet washcloth and just gently wipe away the oil and any makeup or dirt. Then you can just add a bit of moisturizer if you want and you're done. Speaking of moisturizer, I actually have been making my own moisturizer for years. It's really fun and nice to be able to control everything that goes into it. I used to wear a lot of makeup, but I don't like to wear that much anymore. There's nothing wrong with makeup, it's just that some women put so much on that it sort of masks what they really look like. I believe that makeup should enhance your natural beauty instead of trying to cover it up. And makeup can be really toxic. There are a lot of ingredients in makeup that are considered a carcinogen, so be aware of that. I only use natural makeup and I try to make my own when I can. I also wear makeup a couple times a week to let my skin breathe, and here's what here's all the makeup I use. For my period, I always used to use pads, but I was introduced to the month, menstrual cup a few months ago, and I thought I'd give it a try. It actually works really great, and I'm not throwing anything away, and it's pretty sanitary. So I also use these reusable organic cotton pads, too, that I found on Amazon, and they're really soft, and I really love them as well, because you're not throwing anything into a landfill. Toilet paper actually creates a lot of waste because they're usually wrapped in a lot of plastic. So I try to buy this kind because it's wrapped in paper that can be recycled. Now to clean, I either use baking soda, vinegar, uh, I can use lemon juice, and I also made this uh, all-purpose spray made with essential oils and vinegar and water, and it works actually really great on surfaces. So instead of using paper towels, I've started to just cut up like old rags or old towels that I used in the kitchen and I can just use that to wipe down surfaces like the countertops and tables. And then for Kleenex or tissues, instead of you know constantly reusing boxes of tissues, you can always use a reusable one. I remember my grandmother used to have a reusable little Kleenex or tissue 
in her pocket and she would always blow her nose on this. I always used to think it was so strange, but this is the way people did it back then. So, you know, it's a much better way than constantly throwing away tissue. And I'll buy pasta and oatmeal and that sort of thing in boxes like cardboard because I believe this can be recycled because you can't buy everything in bulk unfortunately but as long as you buy it in boxes instead of plastic then you know you're not throwing that plastic into a landfill. Now a couple years ago somebody bought me an electric toothbrush for Christmas so um, you know I'm just going to use that for now but for the rest of my family I'm going to start buying these compostable toothbrushes that you can get on Amazon and probably a lot of other places like the health food store and then I also make my own deodorant and you can get these shampoo bars uh, online as well that last a long time so that you're not you know constantly buying shampoo in plastic so what I've done in my kitchen is that I like to buy a lot of foods in bulk I buy beans, nuts, seeds, and that sort of thing in bulk, and then I just store them in ball jars. I've got a lot in my pantry here, and then I also keep my nuts and seeds in the fridge because nuts and seeds are really high in oils, and I like to keep them fresh, and they last longer here. I love to garden. I always grow lots of vegetables and fruits in the summertime and I used to always just throw my vegetable scraps away which now I realize boy that was really wasteful. So now I've started to compost all my vegetable scraps in this makeshift compost bin that my husband made me. I really love it and I cannot believe how much I throw away every day like when it comes to you know when you chop up vegetables and you have like the ends of something I, I usually dump stuff in here almost every single day. Now when I go shopping at the grocery store I always use reusable bags and you know I bring my own or I always ask for paper because paper can be recycled just in case I forget my bags which I usually don't but just in case I do I always ask for paper bags. I always use a glass water bottle. Everybody in my family has one of these. We never ever buy water in plastic bottles. It is so wasteful even though I think they can be recycled. You know, I'm not completely sure, but still, you know, that still means we're like using more plastic and I just don't want to do that. And then we also have a reverse osmosis filter in our um, in our kitchen sink, which it actually takes everything out. It takes out the bad stuff and the good stuff like the minerals like magnesium and calcium. So what I like to do is um, I add a few drops of this concentrate trace mineral drops to just kind of put back all those minerals that the reverse osmosis filter takes out. And here I even make my own kombucha and you know it's fine to buy it no problem but it saves so much money to buy your own and kombucha is filled with natural probiotics which is really good for your gut health. And I used to buy a lot of layer bars and different kind of bars for my kids for snacks and I still do buy them sometimes. Um, you know, in emergencies or if I just happen to not make some, but I'm really trying to make my own, you know, like layer bars with dates and nuts and seeds and that sort of thing. It's so much cheaper because layer bars are expensive. Even on sale, like we can maybe get them for a dollar each, but that's so expensive. One dollar for a, la a little layer bar that's like four bites. Um, you know, so if you can make your own, it's so much cheaper and you're also not throwing away that plastic little package that it comes in and you know that's just going to sit in the landfill for the next few hundred years. For laundry I found that you can use soap nuts or you can make your own laundry detergent and there's a lot of different recipes online that you can find to make your own laundry detergent. You can actually make your own dishwashing detergent which I've done. There's a lot of recipes online for that too. And then for clothing um, you know I occasionally buy new clothes not very often. I don't really get out that much so I kind of wear the same thing every day but you know for my kids you know I they grow so fast you know children grow really fast I mean I have two teen teenagers now so they're basically gonna probably stay the same um, but you know for kids it's great to go to thrift stores because you know you're reusing the clothing you know they're not new anymore so they don't have all those chemicals from you know the factory and they're exceptionally cheaper. I mean so much you can get like jeans for you know a couple dollars as opposed to thirty dollars you know so I love going to thrift stores for clothing. It's cheaper, it, you're, it's better for the environment, there's just there's just nothing bad about using 
you know, used clothing. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Except for like underwear, you know, I'm not going to use someone else's underwear. So I do buy that. And I do like to buy organic cotton clothing. It's expensive. Yes, absolutely. But I absolutely love, um, it's really soft and, you know, cotton is actually one of the most heavily sprayed crops ever. I mean, it's, it's insane how much they spray cotton with pesticides. So I really like to at least for the most part, buy my kids organic cotton pajamas so that they're sleeping in something that's non-toxic. And everybody has organic cotton sheets in my house. Everybody has organic pillows. We actually replaced all of our mattresses with organic natural mattresses, which I know is, is expensive, but it's really worth it because you know, you're spending like a third of your lifetime in bed and your, your face is right up against your pillow and you're breathing in all those toxins. I mean, you would not believe, you know, I would look into it if I were you, start researching because you would not believe how much toxins there are in mattresses and pillows and all that stuff. So everybody in my family has organic sheets, mattresses, and pillows. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos about health and nutrition. And we'll see you soon, bye.